Welcome back to the channel, my name is Shun Ring and today we're going to talk a little bit about how we can convert SLP to Ringgit. Picture this scenario, you've just made around 5,000 SLPs and you're ready to cash out to your sweet, sweet gains. But you're just not sure about what you have to do next. Well, you've come to the right place and I am super happy to help. Let's start. Before we dive right into today's video, I do have an important announcement. My team and I will be launching an XE scholarship program called Gaming for Good. Usually, you would have to pay up to somewhere around 6,000 ringgit for a team of Xe's. But with an Xe scholarship, you'll be able to start playing and start earning SLP straight away without spending a single cent of your money. As we prioritize our scholars, you get to keep around 65% of the earnings that you make every month and will take the rest which is somewhere only around 35%. So basically by essentially playing a game you can now make around 3,000 ringgit to 4,000 ringgit per month. The inspiration behind Gaming for Good is the current state of Malaysia. One look at a website like kitajaga.co and you'll notice that a lot of people are suffering around you and I'm really just trying to do my part. I personally don't come from wealth so I know what it is like to struggle. To fight for survival and to have it impact you on so many levels including that of your relationships. That's why I'm so passionate about personal finance because every piece of knowledge helped me to better understand the situation that I was in. So we're definitely here to help and all you have to do is to like and subscribe to build awareness for this project and then after that all you have to do is to fill out the google form below and we will then screen through everything. Everyone is welcome to apply but special priority is provided to people that are truly truly suffering from this pandemic. One of my latest XC scholars, Dave, has not been attending university for around two semesters already. It also doesn't help that his parents couldn't find work during the pandemic and the Axie scholarship has been very helpful for him during these hard times. Also, if you're interested in joining an Axie community for good, feel free to join us in the Discord channel below. We talk about breeding, PvP, and most importantly, we provide a platform for you to provide your scholarship to qualified people that are actually in need. It is probably the first of its kind. I know that was really long, so I'm just going to put like timestamps down here for you to skip this long section. But yeah, let's get back to the video. Okay, but before we even start doing anything, there are two main things that we would have to really, really confirm. The first thing that we want to do is to make sure that you go on xe.live to check the gas fees. Okay, so you're going to be able to see the gas fees over here. What you're going to notice is that uh, they have different sections for rapid, fast, standard, and slow. Uh, this is how fast the transaction speed is. Okay, so once you're in xe.live, you're going to be able to see the the cost of uh, gas fees over here. So the higher these numbers are, the worse it is. So personally for me, anything below 20 is considered low right now because quite a lot of people are using the Ethereum network. 40 and above is considered a bit expensive for me right now. It's probably not a problem for you if you are willing to dish out a lot of money, but I'm quite kept so yeah. <laughs> So then the next thing you want to do is to then go to your MetaMask wallet and you want to make sure that you have enough balance over here. I would always recommend that you have at least somewhere around 0.04 Ethereum to 0.05 Ethereum just to make sure that you're able to pay the gas fees later. You'll probably not understand what I mean right now but yeah, you're going to understand what I mean in just a bit. So, Okay, so the second step will be to then claim your SLP tokens on the XE marketplace. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is to first go to XE marketplace. So I'm just gonna type over here XE marketplace. I'm gonna go into XE marketplace, and then what you're gonna see is that wait, let me change my MetaMask wallet first. Yeah. Okay, so what you're gonna do next would be to then enter my account. Alright, and then what you want to do is to once you're once you click into my account, you want to come into claim tokens on the left over here, left side over here. Click on claim tokens and then you'll see this SLP portion thing here. Just click on claim SLP. And as you can see over here, my SLP is currently locked because it'll only be unlocked once every two weeks. But you, it should be very straightforward. All you have to do is just click claim SLP now and you should be able to get your SLP. Okay, so now the next step is to withdraw your SLP from Ronin Bridge to MetaMask Wallet. So the first thing you want to do is to move to the bridge section over here. So I'm going to click this over here. And then the bridge should show up. So what you're going to do next is to click on withdraw. 
So I'm just going to click on withdraw over here. And then what you want to do is to then click on the Ethereum address, right? So I'm clicking on the Ethereum address that you want to send. So what you want to do is to come to the MetaMask wallet. So what you have, so what you then do is to then click on this, copy the clipboard, come to Ethereum address, and then Control V, and you should be able to have your address over there. And the next thing you want to do is to then click on the asset. So you would click on SLP over here, and then you would click on Max or the maximum number of SLP that you have over here. And the next thing that you want to do is to then click on Next. Also, just in case if you're worried and you can't see your SLP in your MetaMask wallet, don't worry about that. I'm going to show you how to do it. So just come to your MetaMask wallet. And as you can see over here, I don't have my SLP over here. So what you want to do is to head over to Google and go to coingecko.com and click on this one and then what you want to do is to search for SLP so SLP smooth love potion and then all you have to do is just come down to all you have to do is just come here click on add to metamask and then click on add token and you should be able to see it in your MetaMask now. See? It's over here. I don't currently have any SLP over here, but yeah, this is how it works. Okay, so the next step would be to then move your SLP from your MetaMask to Binance. So the first thing you want to do is to enter Binance. So I'm just going to go on Binance. I'm going to click on Binance over here. And then what you want to do is to... You know what? I, I'll just have to log in first. Okay, now that you're into Binance, the first thing you want to do is to click the deposit button. So first you want to enter your wallet, you want to go into overview. And then you should be able to see this deposit button over here. So I'm just going to click on deposit. And then what I want to do is to then click on crypto deposit. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click select a coin. I'm going to click on smooth love potion. SLP and then make sure that you're using the ERC20 because uh, the logic behind it is that X Infinity is built on the Ethereum blockchain so you have to use ERC20 which is an Ethereum network then yeah then you're going to be able to see this address which you then can click on click to copy then what you want to do next is to go into your MetaMask wallet and then you want to click send so then you can then copy and paste this address over here don't tamper too much with anything over here if you're a beginner just click on average or anything like that and then just click on next and click next 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 and you should be able to send your SLP from your MetaMask wallet to your Binance account okay now that you're on the Binance page the next thing you want to do is to then go to your wallet and then move to fiat and spot and you should be able to see your slp somewhere over here so mine is somewhere mine is somewhere over here see as you can see over here i don't have much of a big amount here but but yeah you get the point so the next thing you will want to do is to then sell your slp for usdt or usd that the what you want to do is to first go to markets so you want to come to markets over here and then you want to look for fiat markets over here and then what you want to do next is to look under spot market for slp slash usdt so type, just type it in and you should be able to see this one over here and then come down over here you can just click on sell slp and then you can, this is the current price that they automatically shift to the current price and then you can just sell uh, whatever amount that you have you just click on 500 for example and just click on sell button and then you're pretty much done and you'll be able to get it for USDT okay so you should be able to see your USDT in your wallet right now so we'll click on wallet, we'll go into overview and now go into fiat and spot you should be able to see USD over here. See, your USD tether should be showing up over here. Okay, so the next thing that you want to do is then convert your USDT to Ringgit. 
So the way to do that is to first move into trade. Once you're in trade, what you want to do is to go for P2P. So you click on the P2P and then you want to change the setting from buy to sell. And you want to change it to MYR over here. Click this over here. And then you can then put in the amount that you want to, you want to sell your USDT for, right? So you want to choose the ones with the amount that you're trying to sell over here. You can judge it from here and then you click on the sell button and then the process should be automatic. It shouldn't be very complex and there, there you go. And there you go. That's how you sell your USDT for Ringgit. And overall, this is pretty much how you sell your SLP for Ringgit. That's pretty much it. An alternative method that you could potentially be using would be Uniswap. So what you want to do is that you want to convert your SLP from your MetaMask to Ethereum and then you want to send your Ethereum from your MetaMask to Luno straight away. So the first thing you have to do is to actually go to Uniswap V3 and then come over here. So what you want to do is to then click on launch app and then what you want to do is then change this to SLP and then select Ethereum so make sure they have enough SLP to do this I currently don't have enough you want to make sure they have enough SLP in your MetaMask right so for example if I were to actually convert 5000 SLP to Ethereum it's going to look like that uh, you got to make sure that you've connected your wallet first so I would connect it to my MetaMask Okay, so all you have to do is just click on swap. Uh, so obviously I can't do that now, but just click on swap, next, 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 and then it should be done. And the next thing that you have to do is to just do this. You wanna go to your MetaMask wallet. Click on the send button, all right? And then what you wanna do is to actually copy your address from Luno, and then just paste it over here, and then you're pretty much done. And it's as simple as that. So there you have it. That's how you convert all of your SLP to Ringgit. And these are the methods that I have been using for a pretty long time. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to check out Gaming for Good. And also, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope that you have learned something from this because I've been getting a lot of requests about this and I figured, you know, might as well do God's work. <laughs> and as per usual, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.